uh, hello everyone in this assignment uh, i am going to demonstrate you how to use the cursor in mysql to start the mysql on a terminal you have to be have a privileges of the root user then you have to start the service mysql then mysql prompt uh, mysql command will give you mysql prompt i am uh, showing here all the databases that are present in the system with the show database command i am having already created database college db so i'll start using the database college db with the use college db command my college db is a present working database now i'm going to show the tables in the databases with the show tables command already i have created a student info table now student info table uh, i check how many records are there already in the student info table already there are the four uh, two records and the four columns um, id name pass uh, and mobile number means a name is the username and the password uh, is the password and the mobile number i alter this table and i'll add one additional field marks in the table so how to add this uh, marks uh, attribute in the table with the alter table table name add attribute name and the type of the attribute is the integer now i will update the marks in the table after updating the marks in the table i want to insert some additional records in the table so insert into student info values will insert uh, the values in the table i insert the few records in the table after inserting all the records now my table is ready and that table will contain uh, the attributes id name password mobile number and the marks now i want to write the stored procedure and that stored procedure will display all the student names and the marks who have passed the exam so i'll start creating the procedure with create procedure procedure name here i am giving the procedure name passstud so passstud is a stored procedure i am not passing any parameter to the procedure then i'll uh, begin and declare uh, is used to declare the variables uh, in the stored procedure so i have declared the temporary variable marks int because i want to find all the student who are having the marks greater than the 40 or greater than or equal to 40 then here i will uh, declare a, a we finished flag why this we finished flag would be required this flag would be required to terminate the loop since we are using cursor for uh, displaying these marks i will declare a cursor curse1 and uh, the cur this cursor is for the select operation that will select the names and the marks uh, from the table student info and it will select all the records who are having the marks 40 so i'll write here command where marks is greater than 39 then i will declare a exception handler here why this exception handler would be required the exception handler's job is that Uh, when we are in the loop uh, it will check uh, the loop end condition so i'll declare a continue handler for uh, not found we finished equal to 1 this we finished is initialized initialized to the 0 and at the end of the loop it will become the 1 and it will be a flag that will be checking uh the termination condition for the for loop so i'll uh, execute this cursor with the open cursor command now this cursor will have all the records that are having the marks 40 or greater than 40 so i want to display all these records 
so for that i have taken a loop get stood is a loop and i am fetching the records that are in the cursor so what is the cursor cursor is a workspace that stores the result of the select query and here i am selecting all the records that are having the marks 40 or greater than 40 so the fetch uh, is a uh, instruction uh, uh, that fetches the result of the execution of the cursor uh, in the variable nm and mrk initially it will have uh, the pointer to the first record uh, means first record that is having the marks greater than 40 uh, so i'll fetch the first record in the nm and marks and then um, i want to display it for the uh, so for displaying i'll write uh, select uh, nm comma marks select nm comma marks will display the contents that are there in the variable so i'll uh, uh, this uh, loop will keep on looping and when we finished will become a one when it will uh, have uh, the end of the uh, workspace now what will be the end of the cursor workspace end of the cursor workspace would be uh, when uh, the result of the select query will reach to the end of the record so uh, when uh, we will uh, reach to the end of the record uh, means we will not find further any records it will give not found and when it is a not found uh, we finished will become a one okay uh, so here if the we finished is the one means no further records uh, in the workspace area then we will leave this for loop get stood so here um, i have created uh, this procedure but for this procedure i have got one uh, error in successful creation that was there that I have not declared this variable nm so how I can declare this variable nm by clicking on the up arrow I'll get uh, this procedure again and uh, I'll declare one more variable declare nm uh, which is of the varchar type so it is a varchar type of length 10 so I have uh, make the changes in the procedure now if you see that now it is giving you the query okay zero rows affected so this is my stored procedure okay initially i haven't done the declaration of the nm variable that's why i have got the error in the creation of the procedure so i have corrected that procedure and now my procedure is ready for the execution now i can call uh, the procedure with the call pass std now when I'll call this procedure, it will get executed and now the delimiter is dollar dollar. So now here it is displaying the names of all the students who are passing the exam. So like that we can use a cursor to display the records from the table uh, and a cursor is acting as a work area that will store the result of the select query. So I think this concept uh, will clear you uh, the problem of using uh, the cursor for displaying the records available in the uh, table. Thank you.